Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. Well, right now we are living in a bit of a news black hole. It's it's truly remarkable, and I suspect it makes sense as to why that is. The attempted assassination of Donald Trump was probably the biggest news that we've had in I don't I don't even know how long. Everything is about that. Shannon Doherty of Beverly Hills 90210 passed away. Richard Simmons has passed away. Dr. Ruth has passed away. All kinds of things are happening. Kids are being diddled by teachers. Uh, people are being victimized by crime. The world is still going, but it's a news black hole. Everything is just Donald Trump. Now, I, I have a, another Donald Trump story particularly about the media covering it and rhetoric and all that kind of stuff. Um, Tenacious D and blah, blah, blah. I have that. But just spare you for more Donald Trump stuff. We're going to take we're going to take a break from all of that. I'm going to try and get away from some of that. <laughs> because It's just so much. Holy cow. This story is it is a break from that, but it is, it's not enjoyable, and I love you. I want, I want you to know that, and I am preemptively sorry for what I'm about to do to you. This story that we are covering today is the Grammy-nominated country singer Ingrid Andress. I've never heard of her before. I'm sure she's lovely. Probably. Fantastic at parties. I have no idea who she is. But Ingrid Andress delivers the worst national anthem ever before Major League Baseball's Home Run Derby. And everyone loves the Home Run Derby. That's just a good time in Texas as players struggle to contain their laughter. It is so bad. At first, <laughs> uh, I listened to it. I'm like, oh no, she's fine. I mean, it's a little off. And then she started some of the hot. You'll, well, you'll hear it. You will hear it. And well, again, I I love you. I'm sorry if this doesn't brighten your day. I, I don't. I don't know what else will. <laughs> oh heavens! Here we go. Who's broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watch <laughs> We're so gallantly straight Look at this guy. He's, he's, he's holding back laughter. The crowd is so mad right now. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, but you had to witness that. You had to bear witness. Oh, heavens, we gotta shake that off. Oh my goodness. It's hard to turn patriotic Texas fans off. <laughs> off the Star Spangled Banner, but four-time Grammy nominee Ingrid Andres nearly did exactly that before Monday's home run derby. That was rough. In what many have described as the worst national anthem ever, the 32-year-old country singer contorted Francis Scott Key's poem into a shrill, somber death march. 
at least one player, Philly's Alec Bohm, cracked a smile during the rendition because he knew it was bad. While the attendees at Global Life Field in Arlington quickly joined in to compete with Andrew's sharp, crackling voice. I thought this was a kid. I didn't realize she was 32. Again, I don't know anything about her. That Ingrid Andrus national anthem might have been the worst thing to happen in America in the last 48 hours. Ha! Uh, making reference to the attempt at assassination attempt on Donald Trump, one person wrote on X. <laughs> oh, jeez. Amazingly, the all-star crowd politely offered Andrus a round of applause. Although a few intermittent boos could be heard during the ESPN broadcast before spectators watched the Dodgers, Teo Escar Hernandez beat the field for his first home run derby title. Several critics were reminded of other nightmarish anthem performances such as Roseanne Barr's, Carl Lewis's, and Fergie's. I mean... When you get Roseanne Barr doing it, you know exactly what you're getting. Fergie, you would expect maybe uh, something a little better. Fergie vibes were in the building tonight, read a post from Barstool Sports X account. I'm dying of secondhand embarrassment, one fan wrote. This immediately joins in the pantheon of worst sporting renditions of the Star Spangled Banner. Roseanne Barr. And Carl Lewis, eat your heart out. (laughs) So her fans leave to her defense after a disaster national anthem performance. So while a lot of people were incredibly scathing, she had some defenders, right? A couple tried to excuse her performance, claiming nerves must have been affecting her. And I could could buy nerves 100%. I stream to like five people and I'm super nervous. Singing in front of a full stadium? Yeah, I'd probably pee. Just nervous, one user insisted while another added, I now feel bad for her. Must have been nervous. Meanwhile, another blamed the pitchy performance on technical difficulties. Something had to have been wrong with her monitors in her ears. They can really F your tone up, they claimed. Breaking news! It turns out, singer Ingrid Andress was as drunk as a skunk. And that's the beautiful thing about America. You have the freedom to nuke your career. Although I'm sure this will be just a a speed bump on her way to OnlyFans. She says, I'm not gonna bullshit y'all. I was drunk last night. I'm checking myself into a facility today to get help, the help that I need. And that was not me last night. I apologize to MLB, all the fans, and this country that I love so much for that rendition. I'll let y'all know how rehab is. I hear it's super fun. XO, Ingrid. Well, there you have it. Was it nerves? No. Was it ta- not being talent? No, it was alcoholism. Now back to the story. Others didn't necessarily excuse her performance, but did express sympathy for the singer amid the backlash. I feel so bad for her. While another echoed the sentiment posting, Oh Lord, I kind of feel sorry for her. Things like this can ruin a career. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know down below in the comments. Does she suck? Is this nerves where her monitor's not working? Does she have other technical difficulties? Because it's bad. It's it's real bad. But I don't know. You guys tell me. But like, subscribe, share. Help me grow this channel. Whether you're watching on YouTube or Rumble, but especially Rumble. I'm not long for this YouTube world. They hate me and they want me off. And I very well may just oblige.
and do everything on Rumble. So, <clears throat> definitely help grow Rumble. Um, I love you all. Thank you so much for uh, taking this Donald Trump break. There's so much Donald Trump news. It is a black hole. Everything is just, it's just that. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it will be, I don't know what it's going to be. But, I'll see you then. Peace. Peace. Peace.